an historic waterway is 146 years old and for Egypt it's long been a source of nationalist pride, particularly since 1956 when President Gamal Abdel Nasser nationalized it, seized it back from British and French control. So when President Sisi, the current president, really was looking for a flagship project, he couldn't have chosen better than this waterway to appeal to the Egyptian people. And it's with Egyptian funds that this work has been carried out. As you say, a 35-kilometer extension of the waterway, it's an additional lane which will allow more traffic in both directions. And really, it's hard to conjure up for you an idea of just how much nationalist fervor there is around this project. Across the country, there is a public holiday, and amid all of the fanfare that's taking place here with Egyptians watching it on television, you can also find streets decorated with balloons, uh, with lights. There are billboards up that declare this to be Egypt's miracle and its gift to the world. Very interestingly, we saw President Sisi, who was elected as president, of course, um, by the Egyptian people, arriving here in a military uniform, which was very interesting. Uh, he is, of course, the former head of the military, um, and this is his occasion. He is meeting dignitaries and VIPs. They've come from far-flung parts of the world, and he's really hoping to build his support, just as Nasser did, electrify the Egyptian public with this project. But I should say that economists do question some of the official figures about how this could lead to a twofold increase in revenues for the canal and how it could double the traffic along the canal. They say a lot of these uh, predictions really depend on global trade. And they say that you know, you could argue that the money that was invested here would have been better spent improving Egypt's core public services and its infrastructure.